Okay, so we're gonna take this picture and we are gonna turn it to an SVG, okay? So the first thing that I'm looking for are the colors or shapes touching each other, okay? I can see that the blue is touching and that's fine because I want that to be together, but the balloon's not touching this. This isn't touching that. First thing I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. If it's touching or if it's not touching, it's gonna uh, give me an indicator to do something else, okay? So for this one particular um, image, I would go to remove.bg, okay? And I would remove the background. That's the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the background on this one just to make it a little easier. For myself, I don't like cleaning things up in design space. I get really frustrated having to click out all of these little things. And so it's a lot faster for me to simply just remove the background on a free website like this, okay? So I've gone ahead and done it. I can see here that the file is there. I'm gonna go into Cricut. I'm gonna go to Upload, Upload Browse. It's in my Downloads. This one has the removed background, this one doesn't. I wanna choose the one with the removed background. Look, did half the work for me, okay? And so I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And I'm just gonna preview this. What does it look like, okay? And that looks like it's gonna be a really nice cut. It's gonna be really smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Now, if I wanted to change, um, if I wanted to print and cut this, I would use the, this uh, left one. And I know this because it's highlighted in green. It also says print then cut. If I was gonna cut this in vinyl and I wanted to change my own colors, I would choose the cut image, okay? And so let's say we wanna choose it for vinyl. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. I know it because it's highlighted in green and it tells me save as a cut image. Save, let's go ahead and insert that in. And there we have it, okay?